yeah um Oh, obviously, you can you can see that I'm I'm not a pure Christian. You know I'm not a pure Christian. Don't tell me to grow as a Christian. Yeah, don't tell me to grow as a Christian. Don't tell me to grow as a Christian because Christianity is full of hypocrites. And the fact is, you can you can it's it's literally almost impossible to be a non-hypocritical Christian. If you read the Bible, it is because it's it, the Bible itself is going to confuse you. I am literally like I I, I I I was obsessed with the Bible. I read and I read and then I found out this: like you literally can't function in this world while being a true Christian, unless unless you go out into the wilderness. That's why Jesus Christ himself, even Jesus Christ himself, always had to withdraw into the wilderness. He had to withdraw into the wilderness, and he was like, "Don't follow me, don't follow me," and then the crowds are following him. And he'd be like, oh, we have to retreat into the wilderness. He and his like close associates, his, his little disciples. You know what? Because they had to, right? You, you gotta, you, you, you gotta face reality, not just the evangelists, not just the missionaries. Yeah, not just the missionaries, not just the evangelists, but also, yeah, but also the prophets, the prophets, yeah. The prophets gotta seek the approval of people in the end of the day. Yeah. Noah did Noah didn't seek wasn't able to secure everyone's approval, right? He only got his closest family. Noah, the prophet. In the end of the day, they were not saved. Yeah. The animals were saved though. He was able to you know what? He was able to convince and convert the animals, but not the people. Prophet Noah. For real. Prophet Noah, he was able to convert and convince the animals, but not the people. The people rejected him, the people mocked him, the people laughed at him. It sounds like the same thing that was happening to me a while ago. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Okay, if I, don't, if I do not seek the approval of people, you will all be destroyed. Yeah, you should, you should be happy that I'm seeking your approval. You should be grateful that I'm seeking your approval. Because if I do not speak, if I if I if I did not seek your approval, yeah, if I did not seek your approval, you're gonna die in the flood. Like I'm, I'm talking, about, I'm, I'm, I'm talking like I'm saying like if I were Prophet Noah, okay, context, context. If I were Prophet Noah, right, and if I didn't seek your approval, just like Prophet Noah, in the end of the day, he preached and he preached and he prophesied, but nobody believed him. The people did not approve of him. The people mocked him and the people died. The animals though, yeah, the animals who were, which were convinced and converted by him followed him onto the ark and the animals were saved. Yeah, look at this. Look at this, the animals believe me. Most of them do anyway, yeah. They do. They are attracted to me. They like me, and I was like, "Hey, come on! You can you can make me stronger. Let's spar. Let's spar a little bit, whether it's mental or physical, whatever you." The animals believed me. I could convert the animals, <laughs> right? Yeah. I can, if I were consistent. If I spent more time with one animal, I can literally bond with him very closely, whether it's a tiger or a lion or anything. I believe it. I do, even if it's a large animal. I could do so with horses, cattle, animals, yeah, large and small. I can do it. Just to let you know, yeah, the prophets had to speak, had to seek the approval of people to a certain extent. Yeah, you can't, you can't just say, oh, we, we're just going to completely ignore the approval of people. We're, we're, we're just going to focus on God. It's like if you just focus on God, you, you, you're not going to get anyone on your side. Nobody's going to get. Nobody's going to get on your side. Nobody. 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 Prophet Noah. Okay, the other prophet who? Um, Amos. <laughs> prophet Amos, right? He was prophesying where the people wanted him out, you know. The high priest Amaziah went there and said, Hey, look, you're not allowed to prophesy here. Go elsewhere. This is the king's court. He said... Okay, so he disapproved of Prophet Amos' ministry. Yeah, he's saying, you can't be here. You can, you can move your ministry elsewhere. We don't want you here. Okay, and then he got cursed 
for saying that, for believing that, for thinking that. Well, just to let you know, yeah, um, if he, if 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 our Messiah, the priest, had affirmed Prophet Amos, if he had approved of him, if he had approved of Prophet Amos, he wouldn't have been cursed, right? Do you want to be cursed or not? That's the that 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 that's the isn't that the major issue? Yeah, isn't isn't that the major issue? Yeah. So I'm telling you this, yeah. Don't tell me, oh, you got to, You got to only seek the approval of God, but not the approval of people, right? You got to, you got to, you got to seek the approval of God, not the approval of people. That's not true. It is not true. Yeah, it 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 it, it is simply not true. Okay. 